This place is so cool. They've got a giant map of Washington, D.C. You can see the Washington Monument, the Air and Space Museum. If you go down a little further, I think you could even see Mount Vernon. I'm going to make a great spy. You, you know, we're just here to learn, Marty, so that we can get information back to our analysts. Hi, Beth. Hi, Marty. What's going on? Hey, Brent. How's it going? Pretty good. We need to get information back to our analysts, and we need to know a little bit about the Cuban Missile Crisis. What can you tell us about that? Uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis was an event in October 1962. It was in the middle of the Cold War. The Soviet Union had put offensive weapons into Cuba, and the United States was, was very unhappy about that. We needed to uh, find out exactly what was going on, so we launched the U-2 to get uh, photographic evidence of what the Soviets were up to. How important was the U-2 in the whole Cuban Missile Crisis? Like, those images were taken by the U-2. Vitally important. The Kennedy administration had evidence from various sources, but it was really the U-2 imagery that, that sealed the deal of what was going on in Cuba. Tell us about the suit we see behind us. This was a U-2 partial pressure suit. This is intended to, to put physical pressure on your body. It's not like a spacesuit, which is a full pressure suit. In this case, they would pump air into the tubes you see on the arms and on the legs to pressurize a suit when the pilot ascended to a certain altitude. But it's not a sealed system like a spacesuit would be? No, it's not. Only the, the helmet has a sealed uh, compartment that, that keeps uh, your oxygen flow at, pressurized at the right level. What would happen if you didn't have a pressure suit? What would happen to pilots? You would actually pass out from hypoxia, where you start to get lightheaded, you start to lose control of, uh, of your muscles and so on. So that, that helps with that. And in addition, the, the U-2 could fly up around 70,000 feet. Uh, anywhere above 50,000 feet, you really need a pressurized suit. And these guys would fly 20,000 feet above that. Wow, wow. So it's right on the edge of space. Yeah. Thanks for showing us around today. Sure thing, it was my pleasure.